Now, if you actually understand square roots, powers, and exponents, radicals, and cube roots, well, you should be able to easily solve this problem without the aid of a calculator. Let's take a look at the question. So we have the cube root of 4, all of this to the 6th power. All right, so once again, no calculators. But uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to fully explain the solution in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, we have the cube root of 4 to the 6th power. What could this possibly be equal to? Well, let's take a look at the full solution right now. Before we start, let's go ahead and make sure you understand the difference between a square root and a cube root. So what is the square root of 4 equal to? Now, hopefully most of you are saying, uh, that's equal to 2. And you would be absolutely correct. So the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So what does this mean? Well, when we're finding the square root of a number, what we're looking for is a number such that when you multiply it by itself, we get back to the number underneath the square root. Now, just uh, in case you don't know, this symbol in mathematics is a square root symbol, but it's also referred to as a radical. And that's because we can have things other than square roots, things like the cube root. So this is the cube root. Okay, again, this is a radical. And here we have a little 3. So what is the cube root of 8 equal to? All right, so let's just kind of follow the logic here. Now, uh, some of you might be thinking, well, what number times itself is equal to 8? Well, that's not how this works. Now, before I explain the answer to this problem, let's just go back to the square root. Now, technically, there is a little 2 right here uh, when it comes to the square root symbol. We don't write it, okay, but there is a 2 here. And that indicates how many times we need to multiply this uh, same number to get back to this right here. So this cube root is saying we need to multiply the same number by itself three times to get back to 8. All right, so what number multiplied by itself three times gets us to uh, 8? Well, the answer is also 2 because 2 times 2 times 2. Here we have three twos is equal to 8. All right, so this is the difference between a square root and a cube root, or a fifth root, or a seventh root, et cetera, et cetera. Because right here, we have the cube root of 4. So we can't evaluate this because we don't have a number such that we multiply it by 3 times to get back to a 4. It's not 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So we don't have a nice uh, whole number as the answer. Okay, so this would be some sort of irrational number or decimal. But uh, that's not going to stop us from solving this problem. Okay, so now that we understand the difference between uh, square roots and cube roots, let's take a closer look at this expression right here. So what does this really mean? Well, the cube root of 4 to the 6th power means take the cube root of 4 and multiply it by itself six times. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six cube roots of four. So if we look at the problem this way, is this really going to help us out? Well, technically you could make a case to solve this problem, but you would, you know, basically be doing this problem in a uh, more arduous way. There's a much, much easier way to solve this problem, but conceptually. The cube root of 4 to the 6th power means this. All right, so how are we going to solve this? Well, the key to solving this problem is the following. All right, so we're going to get back to the actual problem because we're going to make sure you understand a very critical concept when it comes to um, square roots and radicals. Again, uh, this uh, um, symbol in math is called a radical. Now, what we're going to be talking about here is something called rational exponents. So here is our square root of 4. Now, 
Remember, I said there's a little two here. We don't write it, but there is a two when it comes to the square root symbol. So the square root of four is equal to four to the one half power. So if you want, you can get your calculator out and go just to kind of make sure you believe me and take four uh, to the one half power. So how do you do that on your calculator? Just in case you don't know, now, some of you may not have access to a, a regular scientific or graphing calculator, but you can use your phone. Look for some sort of key that looks like this. It's upside down V. That's called the care key or Y to the X or X to the Y. Uh, one of these uh, buttons like uh, so. Now, on most cell phones, you can go into your calculator and uh, whatever is your standard calculator on your cell phone and switch it to a scientific mode. Or you could just go on your computer as well and pull up a scientific calculator. Again, you're going to be looking for one of these buttons, all right? So the way you want to do this is just take 4, and the way you would type it in is this way. So 4 to the upside down B, or Y to the X, one of these keys like that. And then get in the habit of putting parentheses. So it would be parentheses 1 half. And when you do that, you're going to see that the answer is 2. All right, so 4 to the 1 half power is equal to 2 because 4 to the 1 half power means the square root of 4. Now the pattern here is that this number, 2, is going to be the denominator of a fraction, uh, fractional exponent, where 1 is always the numerator. Okay, so let's see this uh, play out with the cube root of 8. Okay, so the way we can write the cube root of 8 using what we call rational exponent exponents is 8 to the 1 third power. So this 3 becomes the denominator over 1 to this um, rational exponent. Now I'm using this word rational, and in mathematics, the word rational means fraction. Rational numbers are numbers that we can express as fractions where the numerator and denominator are integers. Well, that's kind of a technical description, but it's one that you need to understand. But this is a rational number. All right, so the cube root of 8 is equal to 8 to the 1 third. The square root of 4 is equal to uh, 4 to the 1 half. And if you wanted to, let's just make sure you understand this. Let's come up with another quick example. How about the fifth root of 7? How can we write this using rational exponents? Well, if you're saying, hey, Mr. Two Math Man, I think that's going to be 7 to the 1 fifth power. Well, that would be uh, correct. Okay, so now that we understand how to write a root or a square root as a rational exponent, this is going to be the secret to solve this problem. So let's take a look at our problem now. Here we have uh, the cube root of 4 to the 6th power. So what we're going to do is write our cube root of 4 as 4 to the 1 third to the 6th power. Okay, so this is really kind of the key, but we need to understand one more property before we can get to the final answer. Before we continue on, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button. Now, the reason I want more subscribers is basically I look at everybody that subscribes to my channel as a new student. And as a math teacher, that makes me very happy. So uh, the best way to support this channel and what I do is to simply hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Now remember, uh, irrespective of whether you're a math student or not, if you want to relearn math, for example, and you've been out of school for many, many years, I have two great courses, my Math Foundation and my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to all of this in the description of this video. But if you happen to be a student, make sure to check out my full uh, course library. Again, you can find the links to all of this in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem right now. Okay, so now that we understand that we can write the cube root of 4, as a rational exponent 4 to the 1 third power, we can solve this problem, but we need one more property of powers and exponents, and we need this property right here. And that is a to the m to the nth power, right? So when we have a power to another power, how do we handle this in mathematics? Well, we need to understand this property. This is not that difficult. So if we have a power, some uh, power like a to the m, now this is just algebra, our base here is a, our exponent is m, 
but if we're taking this power to another exponent or another power, the answer is a to the m times n. So all we have to do is multiply the two exponents and we'll get the right answer. And this makes total sense. Let's take a look at this quick example to see why. So if I have two to the fourth squared, well, if we just follow the pattern here, the rule, the answer is gonna be uh, two to the four times two, right? So we have this base, our inside exponent is four, our outside exponent is two. So four times two, of course, is eight. Now, what does two to the fourth squared mean? Well, it means take two to the fourth and multiply it by itself, right? That's what this means. But two to the fourth is two times two times two times two, right? Those are four twos. And then we're gonna multiply, again, by two times two times two times two. So this is two to the fourth times two to the fourth. And you can see here, we have a total of eight twos or two to the eighth power. Okay, so if you understand this property, well, solving this problem now becomes very easy. All right, so we have four to the one third power to the sixth power. All we need to do to simplify this expression is take this outside uh, exponent and multiply it by the inside exponent one third. All right, so one third times six is what? Well, just in case you forgot how to multiply fractions, that's gonna be uh, one third times six or six over one. So we're gonna multiply the respective numerators and denominators, so this is six over three or two. Okay, so here now we have uh, four to the six over three power. All right, so what is four squared? Well, that means take four and multiply it by itself. So four squared is 16, which of course is our final answer. All right, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face in the A plus any 100%. That is fantastic. Now, if you didn't understand anything here, no big deal. My videos are designed to uh, teach, right? And the only way you're going to learn something is to try a problem and see what you know and don't know. But if you really wanna learn math, you gotta practice this stuff. So it's not enough to say, uh, to, to watch me do math, be like, oh, I get that, I understand this, I understand that. Well, uh, I guess on one level that's good, but if you wanna make it your own skill, you have to practice these concepts over and over. So let me leave you with a few suggestions here. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel that can help you out. But if you really are serious in terms of improving your math skills, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.